Okay, I'm going to be recording now. I think it's recording. Yep. Awesome. So we're here for another uh, oily fireside chat. Hi, Janelle. We all said our hellos already, and you popped on. Um, <laughs> we got to figure out how to see everybody. Yes. Um, so are you are you able to see everybody on yours? I'm doing it on my phone. Okay. And I'm going to figure out how to do it. I'm a little tech stupid. So. Uh, no worries. On your phone, if you swipe to the side. Yeah, you should be Ooh. able to swipe. Ooh. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, the... It's nice having somebody here who's tech savvy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I married him. <laughs> So, yeah, we're just kicking off another oily fireside chat. We're doing these every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock-ish. We try to get started around 8, give everybody some time to get in the room. And um, really, we like to keep these casual, but also informative, and give all of those um, friends of ours who love using oils a chance to learn from each other and talk about the oils they've been using over the week and just give you some more tips and info. So I started last time, so I'm going to let someone else start this time and talk about maybe how they used oils this week. Well, I vote that the only guy goes first. Oh, Luke. <laughs> okay. Sounds like and fine. that's why he married you, Tessa. <laughs> That's why she married me, so she can weasel a lot of things. So, no, I think um, the big one I Did you just my call default. Me a weasel? Uh, no, and so uh, I said you weasel. Oh, uh, so anyway, uh, one of the big things I always use is still Valor. That's still one of my go-to's for everything. Um, that's one of two that actually sits on my nightstand and is in my work bag, and uh, I use that a lot. I just like how it smells, but also I sleep a lot better uh, with the girls being more inside, with the weather being kind of crappy the last couple of days. Uh, they're not sleeping as well as they did like over the weekend when we could be outside a lot. So, mm -hmm. so I love Valor. It's my it's favorite. Too. I mixed it with cedar wood in the diffuser last night when I was sleeping. It was awesome. That's what I used during labor with Wyatt. I used all, that labor with Inara. All the Valor. Mm -hmm. I did not. Oh, really? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Um, I guess mine for the week would be, um, I love my, so Young Living has the, uh, bath and shower gel base that you can buy, and I did this new combo this last time around of, um, orange and ginger, Ooh. and I really love it for my morning showers. It is just, like, so peppy and wakes you up and energizes you, and I love that combo. So my morning showers with the orange and ginger in there oh fantastic so is it like equal parts one to one orange to ginger um i did a little bit more orange than ginger because mm. ginger is so earthy it's not mm. like the ginger yeah. that like you buy to cook with in the store because the essential oil is so pure it's a very earthy smell so i did more it was probably like about two to one yeah two to one of the mm. orange to ginger mm. I have to try that. Yeah, it's a really good combo. I love it. Definitely for the morning, not for at night. If you're taking a nighttime shower, ixnay the orange and ginger. You won't sleep. Awesome. I actually just used, took a shower, and I used my evening piece, um, which they sell, and I save it for um, when I take my nighttime showers. Um, it's one of the more expensive ones, but I feel like it's totally worth it. I just use a little bit on my loofah because it suds up so good on there. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, that's not what I'm talking about this week. This week, I'm going to talk about my CBD oil. And um, John can probably attest to the fact that I've been a little bit crabby this week, and I cannot imagine how bad I would be. Uh, without the CBD oil. Um, CBD's really helped kind of calm my anxiety and moodiness for me. Um, I know it has different effects on different people. As people are getting dosages right, it could 
um, energize people. Um, it could also help you sleep better. So for me, I take it at night. Um, my bigger dosage I take at night and I take a smaller dosage on the days that I'm feeling particularly cranky um, in the morning. <clears throat> and uh, I love this stuff so much that I take it with me everywhere. So like I actually bought an extra bottle so that I always have one in the camper <laughs> because I don't want to be without it for like <laughs> more than a day and John doesn't want me without it for more than a day either. <laughs> um that's how Luke is for me in drinking time. Yeah, it's like hey. well and the thing is it's just calmed a lot of the extra thoughts in my head. Um which I don't know at night it was hard for me to sleep. My mind would be reeling and so C B D has really helped with that. Um the other thing that I guess I want to mention about the CBD is that um, I was using a different brand. The Young Living brand works better for me, I believe, because it's infused with essential oils. It's the only CBD oil on the market that's infused with essential oils. And they bring those back in so that you end up with more of a full spectrum entourage effect of the CBD oil to your cannabinoid system. Um, and it's really important to me to use a brand that I trust. Um, CBD is new out there and there's a lot of companies that aren't always honest, right? So they might be trying to stretch their dollar and labeling stuff with incorrect dosages um, and strengths. So it's really important to use buy from a company that you know is of really high integrity when you're talking about something as serious as does this really contain THC or not? Um, for those who have um, drug tests at work and whatnot. And so for me, I just trust Young Living. It's been around forever. I use it. It's been the best stuff that I've used so far. The other brand I was using, I also trusted, but this stuff works better and I really think it's the infused um, oils. So. Um, I take mine under the tongue. I take it sublingually. Now you're going to have to do your own research about how you want to take yours. Um, I've seen some people are applying the citrus, I think it's citrus fresh or citrus blend, I can't remember, but the citrus CBD, they use it on their face like a moisturizer and um, are finding that it is helping one of the benefits of CBD is that it helps to reduce inflammation. So you can imagine if you've got, you know, puffy skin under your eyes that it would really help there. I would just say if you're going to use the citrus blend. <laughs> um, I have someone who's waiting to get in. Can you just check the background thing? And she's, she oh. actually wants to learn about CBD. So can she hop on? Yes. There's two people waiting. And one is Tessa Farley. What? <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm already here. <laughs> How do I? What is happening? My phone is trying to pirate the Oh, Sorry, that's guys. why. No worries. Um, <laughs> Crash your own meeting. My phone is trying to have a meeting. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. All right, cool. That's okay. I would just quickly say that if you're going to use the citrus on your face, Let's be careful not to go out into the sun um, because yeah. uh, it is photosensitive, the citrus oils in it. So that's all I have for CBD. That's a great idea. I never thought about using the citrus one that way. I'm yeah, gonna have to I, I have it in my cupboard. I think I'm going to have to start doing that, you know, <laughs> because, you know, I am 29 again <laughs> year. And yeah, so. Getting the little bags under my eyes is not fun. <laughs> I'm amazed by the number of places that the CBD oils have. I mean, like coming from a paramedic background, anything related to the hemp plant is always bad and negative and harmful. So I'm amazed, like the amount of research that's going into CBD and like, I mean, a face oil. Who 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 would have thought of using CBD for their face? Because my yeah. my background exposure to it is only smoke it to get high. So now using it as a beauty product, like whoa, that's cool. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I have a friend of mine who was using it and her, um, does she have glaucoma? Or she had the start of it, like her doctor had on, her on a watch for it. And after she started using it, um, she reported that those numbers had really um, dramatically decreased. Uh, so she's using it to help support her eye health. Wow, that's cool. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so I, I researched, um, there's lots of stuff on the internet about marijuana and glaucoma, so um, you can do that research and see if you can make the connection there too, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's it for me, my CBD. Okay, I'll go next. I've been using a lot of peace and calming this week. I use a lot of calming oils, but this is my go-to this week. Um, in the diffuser, during school time with my kids, or um, I have a hard time shutting my brain off at nighttime, or during the daytime when I'm trying to sleep if I've worked the night before or something. So um, I've been using my same method of putting it on the top of my head, which is like my new favorite way to use oils, just to put it on the crown of my head. And um, I, over the weekend, let's see, sat, I worked Saturday night and then I slept during the day Sunday and I woke up and I was like, I didn't, I didn't use this on, after working Friday night, so on Saturday I didn't use it, but Sunday I was like, I'm, I'm going to use my oil, put it on my head, let's see if this helps me sleep better. I slept so good, so good. So, peace and calming. I'm going to try that tonight, a drop mm -hmm. on my head before bed. That sounds good. For sure. That's my favorite scent, by the way, peace and calming is my very favorite one. I love peace and calming. Luke thinks a baby is awake, so he's going to go check. Okay. <laughs> I also use peace and calming in the diffuser at night um, in the bedroom, and I sleep like a baby. Um, mm -hmm. A new favorite oil that I just got this week is Harmony. It's one oh. of the oils in the um, feelings kit. I don't have the feelings kit, but I have all the oils that encompass it. <laughs> That's a good oil. Harmony is really good. Time. So I Harmony. I don't either, but oh, a friend of it is, it is one that you just, oh. So I mentioned last week that I wear a lot of oils, like daily. Well, I've just added yet another one to my <laughs> regime because it's just so awesome. <laughs> And I will, How many I, oils would you say you put on every day, Anne? How many oils? Let me let me think here. Like like from the moment you wake up until the moment you go to bed. Like you do you use? I mean, you have shampoo and face wash and body wash. And you told us like there were seven oils last week that you said you put on as like your daily perfume. Let me think. <laughs> One, two, three. No, I probably have about 10 that I put on. 10 oils that you put on every day? Yes, 10. <laughs> at, least, at least 10. Wow. Yes. Yes. I think That's... it's a good day when I get four. <laughs> well, see, so and, I have, go. and I have those 10 kind of together. So, you know, it's, it's just, it's part of my routine in the morning. Um, some of those oils I reapply at night. And it just it just really really helps me helps me sleep helps me to get my brain to stop like thinking mm -hmm. of the next day um so it just helps me to relax and just kind of focus so harmony is oh it's it's just awesome <laughs> it's right up there with joy <laughs> i can't so, you see know, your putting... sorry and I can't see you on video. I, just I know. <laughs> no, let me see if I can get myself. Okay. So Janelle it, talked it, about it. putting oils on the top of her head, on the crown of her head. And Rose talked about her CBD going sublingual. So where do you, hi, now we see you. <laughs> so where do you put all your oils? Like I really like putting joy on my wrists. 
um, just like right on that vein and artery segment there. Um, I know uh, Jen O'Sullivan talks about the buttoning method, um, but where do you typically put all your oils? All of my oils um, let's see, there are three three of the oils, so Thieves, Pergesin Plus, Endoflex goes on the back of my neck. Um, Clary Sage actually goes on the bottoms of my feet morning and night. Um, let's see. Valor, Peace and Calming, and now Harmony um, go on my wrists. Joy, Patchouli, <laughs> And stress away, um, I, put, I put on my neck here, and the stress away I put along the collarbone, because when I'm holding the baby that I nanny, that's right there. Well, that's a good <laughs> idea. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's kind of what I do um, on a daily basis, and it, it just works. Really that's, what I always do. that's what I always do with my babies, is I'll put it here put like a calming oil or something and i like to on them i like to swipe across their forehead like you know how when you like stroke their hair try to get them to go to sleep i put the oil on my hand and i just stroke their hair with it <laughs> that's we my favorite roller balls and we did like the kid dilution ratio and curious has her own little set of roller balls like one has immune and one has sleep and one has tummy and she knows like what color they're all color coordinated so she knows that bedtime she gets her pink one because that one's got lavender in it and she knows after before we leave the house and after we come back she gets the immune one because that's got some thieves in it and like she knows the colors for the different <laughs> things so that's really cool like my three-year-old knows oils color <laughs> nice my kids know that my kids know the kids sense ones they use nice. I'd say Tommy Jai's and Owie are probably the two we use the most. We use Sniffly sometimes, but Tommy Jai's and Owie are the ones we use the most. And they'll say, Mom, I want the green kids one. That's the Tommy Jai's. Mom, I want the orange one or yellow or whatever color it is. So, yeah. So just to give some other ideas, I use some of the same oils that Ann mentioned. Uh, Progescence Plus, though, I put them on in different places. And so for some people, they might be saying, Boy, I don't want three oils on the back of my neck. What else can I do? Um, <clears throat> Progestins Plus, I will use on my inner thighs. Um, I will also use it as a facial moisturizer from time to time. <clears throat> and I will try to swap Progestins Plus every day in a different spot. So sometimes I'll put it on my lower abdomen, sometimes on my inner thighs to help support my hormone balance. Um, I also do stress away along the collarbone. It's like I can smell it easier when it's there during my workday. I use a lot of brain oils for my workday on the crown of my head. So believe frankincense, cedar wood. Um, and then to help with my memory, I'll put cedar wood on these high, I think they're called the hyoid bones behind your ear. And you can rub them in there. I've also used cedar wood um, in my hair, it makes your hair have incredible beach waves. It's like awesome. And on my scalp, <clears throat> I know Luke that you're just dying for beach waves. Um, I know. <laughs> the other thing is there's a lot of oils for like frustration. Um, release is a good one. I know for like toxic stuff, was it Juvaflex um, is a good one. And you can apply those right over your liver. Topically, I use release over my liver and it does help me not get so annoyed with people, to be honest. Um, and then when you are stressed, it's really important to support your adrenals. So part of my daily routine is to put Northern Lights Black, black Spruce over my kidneys and adrenal area. Um, and then I kind of switch up what one I put along the back of my neck, depending on what I have going on. So it's usually either Peace and Calming, um, Joy is a good one, uh, Valor sometimes I'll do, but I usually save Valor for like my shoulder area. Um, 
those are what usually make it into my, oh, if I need energy, it's citrus fresh on the wrists like all day. And then I'll just kind of sniff if I need a shot of energy. That's a good one. Yeah. Citrus fresh in your water is really good too. That's what I mm. like to do for energy. Awesome. It also yep. makes an amazing morning body wash. You mentioned body wash. If you just do a couple drops of citrus fresh, it's, yeah. I have a really cute story. So I, I nanny, um, a almost two year old and then a five week old little guy. And, um, so I just went back to work this week. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> and, um, the almost two year old, he, I had, I had let, um, his mom borrow one of my diffusers. Because remember, I have 10 of them. So I let her borrow one and gave her a few oils way before she had the baby. And so he sees it and he's like, Can't, fuser, fuser? I'm like, oh, <laughs> do the diffuser? Yes. I'm like, and what do we put in the diffuser? And he says, oils? I'm like, well, which ones should we do? And so I, I picked out like lemon and lavender and I'm like, should we do these? Yes. So he watches me do it. And it's very, very sweet. That go into doing oils. <laughs> and he's not even two. <laughs> That's awesome. Every time I like hair, did I say this last week? Every time I like Harris pick out oils, we end up with geranium because it's pink. That it's aroma pink. chamomile, the German chamomile, because that one's pink. So <laughs> I've stopped letting her pick oils because I'm sick of those ones. <laughs> <laughs> Enough pink oils. I want lemon and lavender. <laughs> Sarah always picks Sarah because it's Sarah. Oh, yeah. It's a good whale. It's a really good whale. She likes yeah. its name Sarah. Well, we got about four minutes, so I want to leave time if anyone has any questions um, or wants to share any other info before we wrap up. Just doing a time check here because I think they booed us after we hit our half hour-ish mark. So, Or maybe it's 40 minutes, so we might have a little bit of extra time. But Yeah, I think, I think the time limit for uh, the account is 40 minutes. Yeah. Okay, good. So we won't get booted right at 8.30. Jenny, Emily, Jennifer, any questions or any cool oil stories? Not to put anyone on the spot. <laughs> I don't have any now cool oil stories. I can finally unmute stories, myself. I do, have, um, I do have a question. I just lost a whole bunch of weight, so I have this I'm super glad that you can't see it really well, but I do have this little <laughs> waddle of skin that hangs right here. Do you have anything that might help with that? Well, congratulations on the weight loss. That's yes, fantastic. Yes. Thank you. Um, for me, after I lost a bunch of weight and after having babies and you've got stretch marks and all that thingy skin, gross, um, Cellite Magic, and I added some grapefruit essential oil to it. Those were like the best ever. My stretch marks after Inara were gone and my skin like shrunk back way faster after Inara than after Karis because I didn't, I wasn't that dedicated with Karis, but with Inara every day I put on my Cellite Magic and Grapefruit in the morning and it was fantastic. I mean like weeks and my skin was back to almost normal. Frankincense is a really great skin oil too. Yeah. You could do uh, frankincense in the cell light magic, but I also use cell like magic. I lost a lot of weight. Unfortunately, I gained the COVID-19 right back being safer at home and eating too many snacks, but um, I haven't been doing that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but anyway, um, I had lost of quite a bit of weight and had a lot of hanging skin like on my stomach and inner thighs and really on my arms um and tessa was going to the gym with me and one day she came in she's like oh my gosh your arms i was like i know it's thanks to cell light because otherwise they were too flabby you couldn't the skin was just too much it really was though like you had gotten cell light magic in the mail on like thursday or friday and then um 
it was like Monday or Tuesday, the next gym week. And you had put it on like three days in a row. And from mm-hmm. like Friday to Monday or Tuesday, the next week, I was like, oh my word, were you like lifting weights at home? Because seriously, her arms were like awesome. And that was only three or four days of using it. It was incredible. Yeah, it works. I found it works pretty fast. I noticed results anyway, pretty quickly with it. Mm-hmm. I use it postpartum as well. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, good, good question. I thought it worked really good. My my little waddle. <laughs> good question. I also have um I bought I think Tessa, I think I told you I had bought some oh I'm pretty sure I told I told both of you actually about my little pot smoking hippie friend. <laughs> So I bought a CBD oil. I don't smoke pot, although I often find myself wondering why I don't smoke pot. If you live my life, for the Christ's sake, I should be an alcoholic and a drug addict. But anyways, I I don't smoke pot. But um, I finally gave in and I tried this CBD oil and I loved it. I mean, it, it's I still have a little bit left. But I'm not I'm not reordered again because I don't my pot smoking hippie friend should tell you enough about what I know about who I bought it from. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. My therapist often tells me she thinks the benefits of C B D are overrated and I tell her I don't care if it's goat piss in this bottle, it makes me feel better. It could be the action, it could be the scent. I don't care what it is, it makes me feel better. But if I'm gonna I, I put it on my temples here and then on my neck. And if I'm having a really bad day on my wrist, all the thin skin areas, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but if if I um, I I liked it, but I like I said I haven't ordered anymore because I, Tessa had mentioned that you guys have CBD oils there. So I guess if I'm gonna buy it again, I would rather buy it from somebody who's not my pot smoking hippie friend. Right. You actually, when you jumped in on the video, Rose was just wrapping up talking about CBD. So I'll send you, thankfully Rose had the forethought to record these for us. So when she publishes it, when she lets, gives us the recording, I'll send it to you. And then you can hear what she's like. Rose is like our CBD expert. Like each of us in our group here, each have our own area of expertise. And Rose is like the guru when it comes to essential oils. Literally, when we logged on for this uh, fireside chat, Rose was reading her CBD. Yeah, see, <laughs> there it is. Like, she she is all things CBD. So any questions, I'm just gonna pass on to Rose because she's our yeah. expert. I'm obsessed with CBD. It's changed my life so much. I think everyone should use it. Um, the one thing I will say, um, I finally realized when I did the math. We have two strengths of CBD, the 500 milligrams and the 1,000. For me to feel the right amount of effects, I've been using about a half a dropper of the five, half to three quarters of a dropper of the 500 at night. Well, the 1,000 is not double the price. It's less than double the price, but you can use half as much and get the same effect. So I actually budget friendly um, splurged and got the thousand milligrams, which will last me longer, but cost me less money. So um, just a little tip for you there. No, that is, that is good to know too. And I have no idea how, how, what I, yeah, I don't, I have no idea how much I would need or I don't know, because I, I literally just have this little, I think it's like a one ounce bottle with a roller ball in it. And I just, on both sides of my face, on both sides of my neck and both wrists, if the day is real, I work in customer service. I work in a call center, so mm. both can pretty much suck it, but yeah, <laughs> it's going to make me feel a little better. <laughs> for dosaging, what I usually suggest is if, uh, so for me, I do take it sublingually in the way I started out. You're going to have to feel what feels right for you, right? And there's there's research out there all over about how to dosage um, CBD because um, smaller amounts of it will energize you. Larger amounts of it will kind of chill you out and make you tired. So you don't want to be taking the wrong amount at the wrong time. So being careful not to take the energizing stuff before bed and the sleepy dosage in the morning. Um, 
for me, because I take it sublingually, I started with a quarter dropper and then I did it at night because I felt like, well, I can always add more if it's making me jittery. Um, and I did it on a weekend and then I would kind of increase it till I felt like, wow, I got a really good night's sleep with this. Um, and for me, it falls anywhere in between that half to three quarters of a dropper. If I really had a day, I will do a full three quarters of a dropper and I am like out like a light. Um, but that might be less for you and it might be more for you. Uh, yeah. So I would try it out when you don't have to necessarily get up for work the next morning or, you know, something like that, if it does energize you and keep you awake. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that is good to know too, because I never heard of CBD energizing anyone. I always thought it was kind of a mellow, like a calming kind of thing. Yeah, so I, for the 500 milligram dosage, I take a quarter dropper in the morning, and that kind of energizes me and keeps me peppy, but then when I hit that half a dropper to three quarters, that chills me out and helps me sleep good, so. I don't know if Tessa has told you anything about me, but I say the F word a lot. I work in a car. So do I. We're kindred. I have the mouth of a pirate. Oh, yes. A drunk sailor pirate. Yes. 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 <laughs> I work I work in a call center, but I work from home. So a lot of times my face is like uh, <laughs> a lot of times. So yeah, maybe maybe a little more might be better for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need it. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, I work I work in a call center but for a bank, so I, it drives me crazy to, to get an account that has like $200,000 in it. And this person is like, oh, I forgot that I had this account. I'm like, really? Really? What's that like over there? So like, how's that feel? I, I got to know where all of those pennies are. What's that like to lose a $200,000 account? How's that? <laughs> oh, funny. I wish. Yeah. Are we doing on time, Rose? Uh, four minutes. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, Tessa, if you could send me the link and any other yeah. information that you have, that would be great. Definitely. We're going to be doing a CBD class. Um, we're just waiting on the finalization of the PowerPoint, and we will host a Zoom class and lots of info and slides, and it'll be great. Okay. Yeah, I would like to... I would like to, I, you know, like I said, I don't, the only thing I know about it is the little roller bottle that I bought and I just wear it at random. Oh, that guy made me mad. I put some more on, you know. Mm -hmm. I also have a 15-year-old son at home. He makes me want to actually smoke pot some days. <laughs> or drink a beer. I don't know. <laughs> he's a good boy. He really is, but he's 15, so. Yeah. <laughs> teenagers I know I keep telling him I'm going to sell him to gypsies he doesn't believe me but one of these days <laughs> okay ladies we got two minutes any other questions before we wrap up no okay well thanks for joining us again we'll be here next week same time um we'll get the event going i'll probably get the new event with the new link posted i'm hoping tomorrow um well you know what i might not be here next week because i'll be camping but i'm sure that janelle and ann and tessa will still be hosting so awesome. cool all right well i hope the everyone has a great rest of their week thanks for joining yeah, us have a night Yes. Have a good rest of your week, guys. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for Bye. Bye. Bye.